Good day everyone, my name is Mahulan and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I am in a place called Victoria Square in Adelaide City, South Australia. Tram service in Adelaide City is pretty common and they are one of the most used modes of public transport in Adelaide. There are also free tram services being operated in these city limits and these trams are running from South Terrace Top 2 and along North Terrace. In today's video, we are going to travel in one of those free of charge trams and experience the whole journey. If you guys are new to this channel or watching without subscribing, please consider subscribing to our channel and hit the bell icon to get notified about our channel updates and without further delay, let's get into the video content. The world's first passenger tram service was started in 1807 in Wales in the United Kingdom. At the start, horses were used to pull the trams and after few years, these tram services were started in few other cities around the world. By the passage of time, the trams operated by steam, coal, fuel, electricity and battery were introduced. Nowadays, a lot of countries are having tram services and they are mostly operated by electricity. It is said that the world largest tram system is situated in Melbourne in Australia. Now let's go and see how the tram system in Adelaide, Australia works. This is the Victoria Square in Adelaide City. You guys can see a beautiful water fountain at the middle of this square. When you look at that side, you guys can see the tramway tracks. Let's go and have a closer look. These trams are running in smaller loops in city limits and they frequently stop on traffic lights. Also the tram driver uses bell sound to notify pedestrians and for other very important safety reasons. When you look at the top, you can see the electric cables on which the trams are in contact while they travel. This is the tramway track guys. You can see grass grown in between the tracks and it is well maintained here. Good stuff. All right, let's go to that tram stop over there to take our tram. You can see a name board here saying the name of this tram stop is Victoria Square. You guys can see the timing of the tram service are mentioned here on this board. Normally, we can expect a tram every 10 to 15 minutes at this stop. On the bottom, you can see the tram network and some areas are highlighted in a light blue color. The tram service in the highlighted area is free of charge and today I'm going to travel from Victoria Square to Royal Adelaide Hospital. There is also another monitor at this tram stop showing the arrival times of upcoming trams on each side. This tram stop is always busy guys. People getting in and out of this place very quickly. You can see a symbol of wheelchair here. This is the special spot for the tram entrance for the disabled people and people who use wheelchair can get in and out of the tram in this place using a ramp. Thank you. 
As you see guys, the tram going in the opposite direction has arrived and the people are going to get inside. Let's wait till our tram arrives. Alright, our tram has arrived, let's go inside. You guys would have noticed I didn't tap my card anywhere and I didn't pay money anywhere. This is how we can travel in the free trams. We can get in at any station and we can get out at any station. We don't need to pay, but this is applicable within the designated free of charge zone only. Exit on the right in the direction of travel. For your safety, please hold on at all times while the tram is moving. As you guys heard, the name of the stop, specialty of the place and the direction of the exit are announced for each stop. More than that, some safety instructions are given. It is really helpful for all the passengers. This is how the inside of a tram looks like guys. It is a mixture of a train and a bus. People can travel sitting comfortably on the seats or they can travel standing holding to the grab rails. The driver's cabin is at the front over there. It is mentioned not to talk or disturb the driver whilst the tram is in motion. To get out of the next station, we need to press this red button which will notify the driver to stop at the next station. Alright guys, I am going to get out at the next station. That is also the last station of this tramway track.
All right, guys, we are out of the tram now. This is the last station where this tram stops. This tram is having two driver's cabins at each end and it can be operated in both the directions. The gentleman who is going in front of us is our driver and he is going to the other cabin to drive in the opposite direction. This is how these trams are operated guys. As you see guys, there are three tramway tracks in this stop. One tram is going far from us, the next one is the tram which we came and there is also another one on the third track. Alright guys, that's it and this is how the free tram services are being operated in Adelaide City, Australia. I hope you guys would have enjoyed this video and if you did so, leave a thumbs up on this video. Please consider subscribing to our channel and hit the bell icon. I will see you all in another beautiful episode. Till then, thanks for watching and cheers.